I'm Mark Bridge, the data-driven program lead for the Seattle Police Department, and this is the SPD Crime Dashboard. Uh, the dashboard is going to replace the previously static reports that we put out before. This is going to allow for a more dynamic approach for the users to look at crime data in the city of Seattle. The layout of the dashboard has filters across the top, a table below that, and then a corresponding bar chart below that. Anytime you make a filter selection, both the table and the bar chart will change. When you open up the crime dashboard, it will always default on the current year that we're in and the current month. Uh, we will refresh our data on a monthly basis, replacing all of our data going back to 2008 to account for changes that occur and updates over time. We also have crime groups, so you can select crime against person or property crime. Crime categories, if you just want to look at a particular category. Subcategories, which are underneath each one of the major categories, if you want to see a distinct category by type as well as police precinct and micro-community policing plan. If you're not sure what precinct or micro-community policing plan neighborhood you're in, click on the link to the left. It will take you to another page which shows the city of Seattle and you're able to type in an address. We'll put in police headquarters, hit go. It'll take you to that point and it'll show you both the micro-community policing plan and precinct that you're located in. You can also just click anywhere around on the map and see that as well in addition to being able to turn on the boundaries for both the micro-community policing plan neighborhoods and the beats. This is the first iteration of the SPD Crime Dashboard and we welcome feedback, so please contact us at crimedashboard at seattle.gov.